Welcome back to the channel. My name is Emery. Today, I just want to tell you about my favorite, my all-time absolute favorite gloves for backpacking and hiking. And it's not going to be mind blowing to you because they are fingerless wool gloves. And I'm gonna tell you about them here in a second. As always, there are links in the description of this video to all the things that I've mentioned to include gloves, the backpacking course for beginner backpackers, the podcast, and the website. So be sure to check those out. Okay, let's do it. Let's talk about my favorite gloves. I have tried so incredibly hard to find a perfect pair of backpacking gloves. And I swear to you, I could never find anything that worked to my liking. Some gloves kept my fingers warm. Some kept them pseudo dry, but nothing was ever uh, just like simple and easy and straightforward and like reliable. Now, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest. It's always raining. And in the winter when I'm hunting, it's snowing and raining sometimes. My hands just are naturally cold. And I think I've had too high of expectations for gloves because I was always trying to find like waterproof gloves or windproof gloves and everything failed. Now, fast forward to my 2017 PCT hike and I had these fleece gloves from Outdoor Research. There's nothing really wrong with them. But for me, they just never kept my fingers warm, especially when they got wet. My hands would just get so cold and it was basically pointless. I never felt like any heat was being retained and they just sucked. I don't know how long it was into my journey that I finally was like, screw it, I'm done with this. I got to a town and I picked up these $14 or $15 fingerless wool gloves. Why? Because I know that wool does really well when it's wet because it retains heat. And not only that, but I can retain my dexterity because I have my fingers still. What I found is I never once wanted ever to have those fleece gloves back or any type of glove ever back on my hand, unless it is really, really cold and it's windy and I'm hunting and I want something a little bit warmer for my fingers when there's wind whipping. But if I'm hiking or I'm backpacking or I'm hunting, Regardless of the weather, if my hands are going to be a little chilly, I toss these things on, they're cheap, and I swear to you, they are the best I have ever found. They don't need to be this pair specifically, just fingerless wool gloves that you can find at a military outlet, or a, I think they call them a surplus store. Again, there's a link in the description to a place on Amazon, I think these are Fox River gloves. Incredibly cheap and amazing. Now. Couple of caveats. Your hands are not gonna be perfectly warm with this. They will stay warm. And what I mean by that is that wool has a tendency to just retain the heat regardless of whether they're wet or not. I hiked the rest of the PCT from like central California all the way up to Canada with these on. Clearly not all the time, but when I wanted gloves, I wore them and they were perfect. So when I got home, I was like, it's gonna be hunting season. I'm gonna wear these things and I'm gonna see if they actually work regardless of the weather because it was going to be raining, it was going to be snowy. My fingers are going to be cold regardless because that's just how they are. Like our expectations, we really need to put them in check because sometimes it's just cold outside and it's not always going to be nice and toasty warm. So I go hunting that fall. These get absolutely wrecked with snow and rain and my hands felt the same as they did in any other glove, if not better. I was not concerned about them getting wet. I was not concerned about my fingers being exposed because the palm of my hand stays warm and that kind of like pushes the warmth out into my fingers and I have pockets anyhow. So if I need to put my hands in my pockets, I do that and it's not a big deal. This video is not groundbreaking. I just want to sh tell you that a simple pair of fingerless wool gloves to keep your hands warm when you're backpacking is actually really beneficial and really useful and you don't have to spend a ton of money on them. Again, I think these are like 14 to 16 US dollars. Links are in the description if you want to check them out. There's a lot of other brands out there that make them and they're really, really awesome. And I think you'll find that they might work for you as well. Unless for some reason you really don't like the feel of wool. That's for another thing. You'll probably have to go to fleece or something like that or maybe try a merino wool pair of gloves, but those ones, they're awesome. They work really well and I've been really satisfied with them and they're by far my favorite glove for backpacking and hiking. I hope that was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have a glove that you think I should try out or look into, 
that is maybe better than a fingerless wool glove or maybe a better brand than I think the Fox River, please let me know. I would love, they even make fingerless wool gloves with like the mitten on the top where it like comes over and you have now mittens. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what works for you for gloves and we'll see where it goes. Be sure to check out the links to the backpacking course if you're a beginner backpacker. There are over 60 videos walking through every step of the way of backpacking so you can get up and going as soon as possible and enjoy yourself sooner rather than later. There's also the website and the podcast, so be sure to check those out as well. All right, that's it. If you are headed out on an adventure anytime soon, be safe, make great decisions, and we'll see you next time.